Okay, so number five, uh, I have 5A here, but it's really just one version only. Just number five, I have a lot more parts than what are actually going to be on the, on the real test. So that way you have an idea of all the different uh, uh, types of parts that they could ask you for. So, uh, first we're going to do domain. Now domain is talking about the X values that the graph is using here. If you see closed circles, you want to put brackets on your answer. If one of these points was an open circle, then you'd use a parenthesis. So pay close attention to whether you have closed circle or open circle. Now this one, I have closed circles for everything, which means my domain and range, they're going to have all brackets. Okay, so domain is going to be the x values that are used here. It's going to be from negative 8. Uh, it's going to be the smallest x value I have. The largest x value I have is 4. So domain is only talking about x values the graph uses. The range is talking about the y values the graph uses. The smallest y value here is negative 4. The largest y value is 3. Make sure you put these in order from smallest to largest whenever you do interval notation. So you're going to do negative 4 to 3. Those are brackets. Okay. Now, the wording you have to pay close attention to on the test. It's going to be worded the same way on the test here, and both of these mean something different. If you see the phrase number or numbers at which. This phrase here, that's referring to x values. So I'm going to put x values here for both. If you see min or max value with that word, no wording in front of it, that's referring to, referring to y values. x values for these, y values for that. Even though we're referring to the same point in the graph, they're asking two different things. So be careful about that when you do it. Numbers at which F has a local max. Okay, so you're looking for the X value where you have a hill, where it goes up and then it goes down. The X value where that occurs at is this one right here. That's going to be at negative 5. So you have to have some kind of hill. This right here, this point at 4, 3 is not considered a local max because we don't have a decreasing part that comes afterwards. So our answer is just going to be negative 5. This one, numbers at which F has a local min. It decreases and increases again. That's this point right there, and that one's going to be zero. You're just indicating the x value for which. So again, these are both x values. Now these, you're talking about the min and max value, they're talking about the y values. We're still referring to the same point on the graph, but we want to indicate the y value there. So the minimum value is this one here. Look at the y value, that's negative four at that point. Maximum value is going to occur at this point here, and that's going to be 3. F of negative 8 is saying, what is the y value when x is equal to whatever number is inside the parentheses? So when x is negative 8, what's the y value? If I go over there at negative 8, I get a y value of 0. The other one is asking the reverse. It's saying, what x value will give me a y value of 3? And what I notice is there's actually two different places where the y value equals 3. So I'm going to have two answers here. Two answers make that correct. Negative 5 and 4. So two answers. Uh, two places if I do f of negative 5 and f of 4, both of those are going to equal 3. The last ones, it's going to ask for increasing and decreasing. Now increasing is as look, you're looking for... Uh, as you move from left to right, you're looking for the part of the graph that's going uphill. So as I move from left to right, I see this section is going uphill, and I also see this section is going uphill. So I have two different places where the graph is going uphill as I move from left to right. So the first spot I'll have an increasing is going to be between negative 8 and negative 5. So negative 8, negative 5. I'm also going to have another section here with a straight piece. That's going to be between 0 and 4. So between 0 and 4, that's another spot where it's increasing. I'm going to put a U there, union. So it's e either in this region or this region, we see a section of the graph that's going uphill as we move from left to right. You can use parentheses uh, whenever you're doing increasing, decreasing. Parentheses you can use uh, for your interval. Decreasing is you're looking for the part of the graph that's going downhill as you move from left to right. That's going to occur in this section right here, that's between negative 5 and 0. So negative 5, comma 0, between those x values, that's where the graph is going downhill.